State the latitude and longitude of Northridge, California. Include the correct units and compass direction in your answer. Well, I'm highlighting the horizontal line at 34 degrees north. That's your latitude, and you can see that runs through Northridge. Now I'm highlighting the vertical line through Northridge, and you can see it's not quite on 119 degrees west. So let's look over here. Here's 117 degrees west. Halfway between would be 118, and then half, then you'd have 119. So this is much closer to halfway between 118 and 119 degrees. Now degrees, just like minutes, there's 60 of them because you're dividing up a circle. Remember, a circle has 360 degrees. So we have 60 degrees, and so half of 60 degrees would be 30 degrees, just like half an hour is 30 minutes. So I would say that this is 118 degrees, 30 minutes west. So our latitude and longitude, 34 degrees north, 118 degrees, 30 minutes west. Next, explain why earthquakes are common in this region of California. This is a map of California and on January 17, 1994, an earthquake occurred with an epicenter at Northridge. We just plotted the location. Well, California is a plate boundary. And that's basically what we're looking for. It's a plate boundary. Now it's a transform boundary. So if you want to put that, it's on a plate boundary, which is a transform fault. And along this boundary, there is a fault zone, which is, I just mentioned, a transform fault. If you didn't know this, you could check your reference table. So I'm pulling up the page on the reference table, and you can see the various plate boundaries here. And you can see that California is on a plate boundary with the Pacific Ocean. Next question. Of the cities shown on the map, explain why Oakland was the last city to receive P waves from this earthquake. This says of the cities shown on the map. Well, there's only, what, one, two, three, four, five cities shown. Northridge was where the earthquake took place. Bakersfield, San Diego, they're about the same distance away. Yuma, a little further away. But Oakland is clearly the furthest away. So because it's the furthest away, it took the longest for the P wave to arrive. So the answer is Oakland is the furthest away. Last question, list two actions that a homeowner could take to prepare the home or family for the next earthquake. Well, there's certain uh, materials that you could buy. In an earthquake, power might go out, you might lose water. So it probably would be nice to have some water stored uh, it'd probably be nice to have some batteries, flashlights, things like that, candles. And something the family could do is have a plan. What if there was an earthquake and you were at school or you were at work? You know, how is everybody going to get in contact with each other? Don't assume the telephone will work. If the telephone's not going to work, what should you do? So basically those would be the two things I would suggest. Buy some materials in the event that you lose power, you lose water, and have a plan with the family on how everybody would get in touch, where they would meet, etc. in the event of an earthquake.